This is the Deity VMAG D4 on camera shotgun microphone. It's only $99 and it's fantastic. In today's video, I'll show you what's in the box, how it compares to the Rode VideoMic Go 2 in terms of sound quality, and why it's worth the $99 price tag. A quick disclaimer, this microphone was provided by Deity for review, but this video is not sponsored. All of the opinions expressed in this video are my own. With that said, let's get started. Inside the box, you will discover several items, including the Deity VMAG D4 microphone, a shock mount that comes with a 3.8 to quarter inch thread adapter, a AAA battery, a foam windscreen, a wind muff, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and two USB-C to 3.5 millimeter cables. There are two 3.5 millimeter cables because one is specifically designed to work with new Sony cameras, like the A7 IV that I'm shooting on right now, because Sony, for whatever reason, decided to change the voltage input-output on their new cameras. The build quality is excellent. The microphone and the shock mount base, I believe, are made of aluminum. The rest is made of high-quality plastic. The shock mount has long sliding rails that also serve as a cold shoe mount. This allows you to mount a wireless transmitter and have a neat wireless boom setup. The VMAG D4 only has one port, which is a smart USB-C digital analog log hybrid output port that is compatible with any device that has a 3.5 millimeter jack or a USB port. This means you can use the same port to connect to any camera, smartphone, laptop, or tablet. You also don't need to use any TRS to TRS adapters if you want to connect this microphone to the phone. However, the cable design specifically for Sony cameras will not work with a phone. At least it doesn't work with my iPhone XR. To connect the VMAG D4 to a phone, you'll need to use the other 3.5 millimeter cable. And if you're using an iPhone, you'll also need the Apple 3.5 millimeter lightning adapter. In terms of power, the VMAG D4 requires a single AAA battery to operate, which has its pros and cons. On the plus side, you have the option of easily replacing the battery, preventing battery degradation if it had one built in. On the downside, you must ensure that the battery is charged to avoid running out of power in the middle of a shoot and you must carry extra batteries for backup. However, according to their team, a single battery should last up to 60 hours. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but it could be with high-end lithium batteries, which is what I'm going to use with this microphone. Personally, I prefer the replaceable battery option because it means I can use this microphone indefinitely. Furthermore, when connected, this microphone has an automatic on-off feature that helps to conserve battery life. Finally, the VMAG D4 has a gain knob with a stepless range of minus 5 dB to plus 10 dB. This can be useful in a variety of situations, especially if your camera, like my Sony ZV-E10, has poor preamps. By turning up the gain on the microphone to maximum, you will rely less on the camera's preamps, resulting in a much cleaner sound. However, there is a minor drawback to the gain knob if you travel frequently. If you keep this microphone in a bag, something will most likely touch or rub the gain knob, causing it to change because it's extremely sensitive. If you're one of those people who likes to keep the gain on the microphone at the same level all the time and you travel a lot, this could be a real problem because you'll always have to double check if the microphone is on the correct level. I wish there was an option to somehow just lock the gain and that's it. Anyhow, let's talk about sound quality. While I don't consider myself an audio expert, I have conducted some comparisons between the VMAG D4 and the popular Rode VideoMic Go 2, and in terms of sound quality, I believe that the VMAG D4 performs significantly better. Here are some side-by-side -side comparisons in various scenarios. This is an audio quality test with the Deity VMAG D4 shotgun microphone versus the Rode VideoMic Go 2. This is an audio quality test with the Rode VideoMic Video mic Go 2 versus the Deity V Mic D4 shotgun microphone. This is an audio quality test with the Deity V Mic D4 shotgun microphone versus the Rode Video Mic Go 2. This is an audio quality test with the Rode Video Mic Go 2 versus the Deity V Mic D4 shotgun microphone. This is a vlogging audio quality test with the Deity V Mic D4 microphone versus the Rode Video Mic Go 2. And this is a vlogging audio quality test with the Rode Video Mic Go 2 versus the Deity V Mic D4 microphone. This is a vlogging audio quality test with the Deity V mic D4 shotgun microphone versus the Rode video mic go to microphone.
and this is a vlogging audio quality test with the Rode Video Mic Go 2 shotgun microphone versus the Deity V Mic D4 microphone. This is a voice over audio quality test with the Deity V Mic D4 shotgun microphone versus the Rode Video Mic Go 2. This is a voice over test with the Rode Video Mic Go 2 versus the Deity D4 shotgun microphone. This is a wind rejection foam filter test with the Deity V Mic D4 shotgun microphone versus the Rode Video Mic Go 2. This is a wind rejection foam filter test with the Rode Video Mic Go 2 versus the Deity V Mic D4 microphone. This is a wind rejection wind muff test with the Deity V Mic D4 versus the Rode Video Mic Go 2. Totally unscientific, by the way. This is a wind rejection wind muff test with the Rode Video Mic Go 2 versus the Deity V Mic D4. Test, 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 Testing, 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 test, 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 testing, 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 testing. So I hope this test demonstrated the differences between these microphones. In terms of overall sound quality, I think the VMAG D4 is a better choice. In my opinion, it has a much cleaner sound than the Rode Video Mic Go 2. However, when connected to a computer, the Go 2 performs significantly better. For some reason, even when the gain on the VMAG D4 and the computer is set to the maximum, the microphone isn't as loud as the Go 2. Furthermore, in my tests, the Go 2 performs much better in windy conditions. But you have to pay extra $30 for this Rode Windmuff. So, from now on, my primary microphone is going to be the Deity VMAG D4 because I love the sound quality, battery life, stepless gain adjustment, and ease of connection to any device. I think it's a fantastic microphone for just $99. Let me know down below what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.